Major discoveries about the development of the multiverse are continuing to unfold, with groundbreaking insights provided by the James Webb Space Telescope JWST. One of its most intriguing revelations is the discovery of Proxima b, a mysterious planet located in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri, within the vastness of space, often described as Earth's cousin. Proxima b is not just another rocky planet, its potential for habitability has captured the attention of astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. The JWST has recently unveiled the clearest image yet of this exoplanet, revealing astonishing details that deepen our understanding of its environment and the possibility of life. So, what mysteries about Proxima b has the JWST unlocked, and how does this discovery change our perspective on the search for extraterrestrial life? The James Webb Space Telescope, which is equipped with some of the most powerful and sensitive instruments ever created, allows astronomers to explore the distant past of the universe and gain new insights into its origins, the formation of galaxies, stars and planets, and the potential for life. What sets the JWST apart from previous space telescopes is its ability to capture infrared light, which enables it to peer farther into space and time than any other telescope before it. The infrared images it captures provide a view of the universe that goes beyond what the human eye can see, offering a window into the formation of galaxies billions of years ago. This capability is akin to looking back in time, providing glimpses of cosmic history that were previously unreachable. The JWST's ability to capture a specific range of light wavelengths and analyze them, much like applying filters to a picture, allows scientists to study celestial objects with remarkable precision. For example, using the JWST, astronomers can focus on certain colors of light emitted by distant stars and planets and analyze their characteristics to better understand their composition and behavior. Just as white light from the sun contains all the colors of the rainbow, the JWST is able to study these subtle variations in light and gain valuable insights into the nature of the universe, the birth of stars, and the formation of planets. By studying exoplanetary atmospheres, the JWST also plays a crucial role in searching for signs of extraterrestrial life, one of the most exciting scientific pursuits of our time. One of the most significant outcomes of the JWST's observations is its ability to probe deeper into the cosmos than any previous telescope. This advanced capability has led to numerous important discoveries, including the identification of larger galaxies that contain more mass than astronomers had previously thought possible. While the JWST's ability to observe distant galaxies and stars is unprecedented, its observations of nearby celestial bodies have been just as revealing. Proxima Centauri A red dwarf star located just 4.25 light-years away from Earth is the home of Proxima b, the closest potentially habitable exoplanet to our own planet. The discovery of Proxima b has been a long time coming. After astronomers noticed subtle disruptions in the motion of Proxima Centauri in 2013, they spent several years searching for evidence of a planet orbiting the star. Eventually, this search led to the discovery of Proxima b, which was confirmed to be orbiting the star in a tight, close-knit orbit. The planet is estimated to be about 30% more massive than Earth, though it may be even larger. Its year lasts just 11.2 Earth days due to its close proximity to Proxima Centauri, Located a mere 7.3 million kilometers away, less than 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. While such proximity would typically lead to a scorched surface, Proxima Centauri is much smaller and dimmer than the Sun, which means the planet experiences far less intense radiation. On Proxima b's surface, the star would appear as a dull red orb, about three times the size of the Sun, as seen from Earth. Because Proxima b is so close to its star, it resides within the star's habitable zone, where conditions could be suitable for liquid water to exist. This makes it one of the most intriguing exoplanets discovered to date. However, before you start packing your bags for an interplanetary journey, it's important to note that Proxima b is far from being a second Earth. While the planet's rocky surface, Earth-like mass, and temperate climate make it a potential candidate for supporting life, there are numerous challenges that would make it extremely difficult for life to thrive. For one, Proxima b is likely tidally locked to its star, meaning that one side of the planet is always facing the star, while the other side remains in perpetual darkness. This results in one hemisphere of the planet being constantly exposed to daylight, while the other remains in eternal night. The temperature on the day side of Proxima b could soar to unbearable levels, 
While the night side could plunge to freezing conditions, water near the star could evaporate due to intense radiation, and any water too far from the star would simply freeze. As a result, the habitable zone of Proxima b is incredibly narrow and life, if it exists, would have to adapt to these extreme conditions. Despite these challenges, Proxima b remains a prime target for astronomer studies. The planet's environment raises many questions about what life could look like in such an extreme setting. Science fiction writer Stephen Baxter has speculated that, given the planet's potential for a fluctuating surface temperature and its unusual day-night cycle, life on Proxima b could be very different from anything we know on Earth. However, the odds of life surviving in such an environment are slim, as the planet's proximity to its star subjects it to significant challenges that might make it inhospitable. The situation is further complicated by the nature of Proxima Centauri itself. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are much smaller and cooler than our Sun, and their magnetic fields are far more intense. This results in powerful solar flares and bursts of radiation, which are much stronger than what Earth experiences from the Sun. For planets like Proxima b, which lie close to their host stars, this radiation could be a significant barrier to life. The intense solar wind and the frequent bursts of radiation could strip away any atmosphere that might exist on the planet, rendering it even less hospitable. Recent studies have confirmed that Proxima b is exposed to roughly 1,000 times more solar wind radiation than Earth, making its environment even more hostile than previously thought. These findings were made possible by high-resolution magnetic field maps of Proxima Centauri, which allowed scientists to model the star's solar wind and assess the impact it has on nearby planets. The results of these studies further emphasize the difficulties that would face any potential life forms on Proxima b and highlight the harsh conditions that characterize red dwarf stars and their habitable zones. Despite these formidable challenges, the discovery of Proxima b has renewed interest in the search for life beyond Earth. The planet serves as a reminder of the complexities involved in identifying potentially habitable exoplanets and underscores the importance of continued exploration and research. As the JWST continues to reveal new discoveries about Proxima b and other distant worlds, the mysteries of the cosmos become increasingly accessible, offering us a deeper understanding of the universe and our place within it. The search for life on exoplanets like Proxima b is far from over, and with each new discovery we come one step closer to answering some of the most profound questions about the existence of life beyond our own planet.i. In April 2021, an event occurred that was 100 times more powerful than any sun-related flare ever observed, posing significant risks to life on planets close to the star. Such flares make it doubtful that people could survive on Proxima Centauri b without specialized shelter. Despite this, many individuals remain optimistic about discovering life in the Alpha Centauri system. This optimism was bolstered in late 2020 by the discovery of a peculiar signal, initially received in April 2019, but not identified for over a year. The signal, recorded at 982.002 MHz, is unusual for Earth-based satellites and spacecraft, increasing researchers' interest. While the signal's origin remains unknown, experts caution that it was most likely caused by manufactured equipment, not alien life. Still, some dream of it being proof of intelligent extraterrestrial existence. Considering human exploration of Proxima Centauri b, the journey poses immense challenges. Even humanity's fastest spacecraft would take hundreds of years to approach the nearest stars. To address this, the breakthrough initiatives aim to cut travel time to decades, enabling scientists to witness mission results within their lifetimes. Recent research published in the Journal of the Optical Society of America B explores overcoming fundamental challenges using current technology. One major obstacle is accelerating an object as its mass increases, especially nearing the speed of light. Spaceships carrying their own fuel face significant difficulties, as reaching Alpha Centauri with current technology would take about 6,000 years. The concept of using lasers for propulsion, long considered, is now receiving serious attention from the Breakthrough Starshot project. Despite numerous challenges including atmospheric distortion affecting laser beams, innovative solutions are emerging. For instance, adaptive optics used in telescopes to correct atmospheric distortion could be employed in reverse. Small satellite-mounted lasers could measure atmospheric effects in real time, enabling ground-based lasers to maintain focus on the spacecraft. Achieving the necessary propulsion would require lasers producing 100 gigawatts of power, a figure comparable to one-fourth of the United States' energy consumption. 
However, researchers suggest this system would only need to run for 10 minutes, utilizing energy stored over several days via advanced batteries or supercapacitors. The proposal involves 100 million lasers distributed across a square kilometer array, propelling the spacecraft to 20% of the speed of light. At this speed, the probe could reach Alpha Centauri in approximately 22 years, though its transmissions would take four more years to reach Earth.